Hi, this is Tara Green. I want to talk about the big aspect coming up on June the 5th. So we're moving out of a beautiful, lovely Venus-Jupiter trine from Cancer to Pisces. Uh, the Moon is in Aries on the 4th and on the 5th. And so Mars is the planet that rules the day. Now there's a very major, difficult, challenging aspect on this day, kind of one of the worst of the years. The planet Mars, the planet of action, of war, of explosions, of defenses, of danger is at 26 degrees of Cancer, uh, exactly opposing Pluto at 26 degrees of Capricorn, Pluto's retrograde. And so this is a very, very dangerous transit. It signifies, uh, could be a nuclear strike, could be an explosion, terrorist explosion, some kind of attacks, anger, um, attacks at people in the home, uh, the plutoc plutocracy, kind of, um, upstaging women, children, you know, the, the, it also has a different aspect of the indigenous children that were just discovered the remains in, in British Columbia. That would be a Mars-Pluto opposition for sure. Death of children, a very terrible tragedy, but it is a very dangerous day. So I would really advise you uh, to be extremely careful when you're driving Mars rolls cars and energy and action. Uh, be careful about anything with fire or gasoline even. Uh, barbecues especially, um, things will get lit uh, in a not good way. Um, be careful not to uh, make people angry, not to trigger them, because this could be definitely, there is going to be shootings, I'm sorry to say, mass shootings, things of that nature. Um, forest fires, volcanic explosions, you know, and it is a difficult thing. Now, Mercury is also retrograde at 23 degrees of Gemini. So it's actually also makes things a bit worse because information's a little bit screwed up and things like that. And then people may not really still be out of that Venus uh, uh, Jupiter trine because it makes people see, seem kind of blind and they're wearing rose colored glasses and things of that nature. And then Neptune is also sextiling Pluto. So this is making things even foggier, like there's big mysteries here, like what's going on, who's doing what, okay? Uh, Neptune's also trining Mars. So again, there could be danger even with water. Um, water and fire don't mix, but this could be, again, um, volcanic explosions, something of that nature. Tsunamis even. Uh, Jupiter's in Pisces. There's danger of water as well. But anyway, be very careful on this day. Use this energy. You can use this energy to do some really deep shadow diggings. You know, Mars and Pluto both rule Scorpio. So this is a very kind of scorpionic energy. So really scraping up some very deeply entrenched secrets in terms of money laundering. You know, remember it's Mars and Cancer, money laundering, um, housing, you know, another housing bubble maybe bursting. It could be banking uh, issues where people are defaulting on mortgages. Um, you know, money in general being devalued can be very disruptive in the crypto markets as well. So definitely... Um, a time when you want to sit with your feelings, but you need to express them and not push them down, not to pretend that you don't feel them, not to be in a fog, not to be in denial or run to addictions. That's Neptune and Pisces adding kind of that spice to this stew. You want to maybe confront. There's parents that you might want to confront for sexual abuse issues, emotional abuse issues. That's very much what Mars opposite Pluto is all about. So there could be some big conflagrations with family, um, it could be that you want to stop seeing a parent, a mother, or a, a father figure. Uh, there could be big disruptions with your children, so be very careful, very mindful of your kids. Um, babies choking hazards um, can make for difficult births as well, because um, it's like an emergency situation intuitively. I'm, I'm tuning into some big emergencies. I'm seeing ambulances and things like that. So use this energy well to look at the parts of yourself that have been kind of frozen. You know, Capricorn is a cold sign. The parts of yourself that you've frozen off because you didn't want to feel certain feelings from your childhood. With Neptune and Pisces involved, this is not just uh, wounds, emotional wounds or abuses from this lifetime, but from many, many lifetimes. And we tend to carry the same patterns forward. So think about that. Use this time wisely to really tune into what you need to feel emotionally safe. Um, I think also in this present climate of big unknowns, you know, what do we need to feel safe? Ultimately, we're going to have to find that within ourselves. We're going to have to learn to self-nurture, to self-soothe, to, you know, curl up in a fetal position if you need to until you feel safe. 
um, rocking yourself, hugging yourself, stroking yourself. Uh, we've all been in isolation. I know even though things are opening up, I think people are still feeling fear. That's that's Pluto in Capricorn deep fear of trust of uh, not knowing how to do things. Uh, sort of a general awkwardness and and depression and anger, deep set anger. So there could be big major protests going on all over the world as well, being triggered by this uh, further government control. So look at where 26 degrees Cancer, Capricorn, and any other cardinal points, that's 26 degrees of Aries and Libra, will also be affected. Now, those of you born in 1983, uh, I believe, would have that Saturn-Pluto conjunction uh, at know in that area so you would be very especially affected by this aspect so again be careful I would stay home uh, actually and sit tight and your stomach might be very upset so be careful what you eat as well you know cancer rules the tummy and so I'm wishing you all the best blessings now this energy is also still kind of ringing into the solar eclipse uh, that's on June the 10th at 19 degrees of Gemini. I'm going to do uh, a new moon solar eclipse astrology magic workshop the day before on the 9th uh, live on Zoom. So please join me 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. You can sign up on my website at terratarot.com. I have a sliding scale to make it affordable for everybody and you'll get a Zoom link. It will be recorded if you can't make it live. So especially if you have planets at those degrees and also 19 Gemini, uh, solar eclipse is open windows every 19 plus years, so you want to make sure you work with this energy. And we will be rewiring and reconfiguring old ideas and dreams at this time. So sending you many blessings. I'm on Twitter. I'm on TikTok even. I'm on Instagram. Again, my website, terratero.com. Sending you safe vibes.